स्पोर्ट्स से जुड़ी किसी भी अपडेट के लिए स्पोर्ट्स तक को सब्सक्राइब करें और हमारे फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम पेज को भी जरूर फॉलो करें Oh, look, there's there's always focus areas to, and improvements to be to be made in any game of cricket. Um, you know, we felt clearly um, RCB took wickets in the power play and probably derailed us through the middle a little bit there, where we had to probably rebuild for a, a little bit longer than we would have liked. And um, you know, that, that's an that's an area um, definitely that we can improve. But um, you know, it's not not a major concern. We've got some fantastic players up the top there. We've got some world class players at the top, and um, most times or more times than not, they're going to succeed. Um, so yeah. Um, That's clearly an area from this game. Um, the fielding's probably been something in the, in the first four games as a, as a whole where we can improve definitely. Um, we saw today that you know just when we started to get a little bit of pressure onto the opposition and started to build up some um, some some good pressure, um, you know it was released by some some poor fielding at times. So that that's a focus area, and the guys know that. Um, but the biggest thing for me is that you know that the players are putting in their best, and sometimes there's errors, and um, we just got to minimise those errors across all three disciplines, and um, we'll, we'll no doubt get a better result moving forward. Question from Ed Buzz: Is there a consideration to split the Joss Butler, Stephen Smith pairing at the top so that one of the experienced batsmen can marshal the middle and the death overs? Oh no doubt. I think that that's you know, uh, probably a, a reflection of you know the last two games. But if you look at the first two games, that, that sort of partnership at the top, or the second game in particular, uh, Joss and Steve are at the top there, um, and then Sandri coming in at three. Um, we feel as though that you know the best players at the top getting the most amount of balls gives us the best opportunity of winning. So it's something that we'll continue to discuss. Um, you know, like most teams at this time of the, of the tournament, we probably haven't uh, settled on our. Our team that we think, yeah, that's that's 100% the correct team for us at this time. We're learning a lot about our players. Um, we've got 12 new players that have been added this year, so every game we get information. But the key thing is to make really good decisions uh, moving forward, and, and we'll, we'll assess and see where we're at, and um, no doubt make some some changes if we feel them uh, they're needed. Michael Lowbrow delivers in his very first game, and how has his preparation been? Can we see the likes of Mayank Markande or some of the other youngsters getting a look in later, maybe to spice up the bowling a bit? Oh, there's no doubt. Um, you know, all 24 plus. Uh, you know, with with Stokesy when he arrives, 25 players are a live chance of playing, and you know, it, it, they're preparing the best they can. And Mahi was a great story today. We you know we backed him in the middle order um, to do the job against the the spin that we knew that we we're going to come up against against RCB, and uh, he did a fantastic job. It's it's always difficult to come in for your first game of a tournament, um, but he prepared well. Um, we were here early enough for, to prepare for for the, the the surfaces and the situations that he was going to um, you know encounter. Um, Throughout the tournament, so yeah, he was a great success story uh, for today. Um, one of the, one of the few positives, but once again, if you're building those positives, we had Rahul Tiwati as well. Uh, we had Jofra Archer, who's given us some some options at the death. We've had Tom Curran. We've had a lot of players enter the tournament, uh, so we feel as though the preparation was good. But it's just about settling on the on what is that best side for us. Uh, follow up to that. Other than Jofra Archer, none of the other bowlers seem to be lethal today. Were the conditions a factor because in that? Oh, no doubt. I think the conditions always are a factor to your bowling unit. I think the the surface slowed up. We probably had the best of the conditions winning the toss and batting uh, with RCB in the field for an extended period of time in that heat. Um, we weren't able to capitalise that, but the surface definitely did slow up a little bit. Um, Virat played beautifully. Uh, Patikal played beautifully as well. Um, you know, and we couldn't get early wickets. So I think sometimes the, the wicket counts are a reflection on the batters. Um, I think they played beautifully, and we were unable to penetrate their top order and give us a look at uh, you know the middle to, to give us a chance to win the game. Lastly, how worrying is Robin Uttapal and Jaydev on that platform so far? Two senior players haven't quite uh, contributed to the team as yet. Oh, I think it's a bit, bit early to be worrying about um, form and um, all that sort of stuff. We're four games into the tournament. Um, you know, clearly they haven't you know, had their best entry into the tournament. In the, you know, the, in the games that they have played, all the opportunities that they have had, but uh, they're quality players. But as I said, when it comes to selection of the team, we're, we're going to pick the, the best eleven that we think against the opposition and the, um, and the surface that we're playing on that can, to, can win matches for Rajasthan, and that's our job. And um, we've seen we have one change this game. Um, we've had some changes earlier in the tournament. Um, clearly, when Ben Stokes does arrive, that'll f- potentially force a change as well and, and change the formation of how we play. Um, so yeah, we just got to step our way through and, and make sure that we're making good decisions and, and picking the right players. at the right time and and that's that's a real challenge